And this challenge is called Obedient Cat. It says here that the file has um, a flag in plain sight, also known as in the clear. And we need to download the flag right here. Okay, so let's set up our environment. So inside our web shell, we need to create the directory mkdir, and it's going to be obedient, obedient cat. Okay, so obedient cat, and then we enter the directory with the tab autocomplete. Okay, and we're here. All right, so now we're ready to download the file. So we go back to the challenge page and we copy the link. So right click on this and then copy link address. Then back to the web shell, wget, and then paste in the the, the link for the file and then press enter and that's going to download the file. Okay, so this is actually, oh, okay, good. So this is the speed. The speed we're downloading at is uh, it's 18.2 megabytes per second. That's pretty fast. Okay, so if we do ls-la, we see that there is a flag in here and it is not executable, which means this is just a regular flag that you just need to use the cat command to read. So to read this, it's just cat flag. So just by using the cat command after downloading the file, we see that uh, the flag is picoctf uh, sanity verified. So inside of um, inside of CTF events, there are usually very easy challenges that are uh, that are that are known as uh, sanity checks. And uh, a sanity check challenge is a challenge that is designed so that uh, people can solve them very easily and um, so that they know that the that the challenge flag submission system is working. So all we need to do is copy this and submit it to the challenge page. So back on the web page, paste the flag in and then click on submit flag. And this is done. So it seems that uh, this challenge right here, we can just click on the uh, on the thumbs up to say that we enjoyed this challenge. Okay. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel, and it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button, and if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.